Okay, so how's it going everyone? Vertic Designs here. And for this video, I'm going to show you all how to use Dolly E2. This is a free and open AI which allows you to replace any item or any type of person from a photo. So let's say that you've got yourself photo A and you want to copy that style. You can use the smart AI to copy that exact same style and get yourself a custom picture with anything that you want on it. So what you need to do first of all is you need to go ahead and go to this website right here. So then once you're on the website, you want to go ahead and sign up. It's completely free. You just need to provide things like mobile number, email address, and some other personal information which will ask you. Once you've done that, you can then get yourself free 50 credits when you sign up. So you get 50 and that means you can edit 50 photos until your next refresh. So as you can see, by the looks of this website, what it does is it uses AI to generate any type of photo. But did you know you can also use it to create yourself or modify a certain photo? So for example, let's say that we wanted to replace someone. We need to first of all, click on this button right here, which will say upload an image. And then you want to locate where that image is and go ahead and open the image up. Now this website is currently limited to somewhere around 1042 times 1042 pixels. This is just the limitation at the moment. So sometimes you may need to crop your image down to be able to use it. So for the example of this video, I'm going to crop this image and then when you're ready, click on edit image. So this will give you into this workspace right here. It's pretty basic and pretty simple. You have some basic tools such as the move or select. You have the move or pan. You also have the eraser. You have the generate frame and a upload image. We just need to, first of all, erase the person. We can do this by getting ourselves the eraser tool or you can press E. And then once you've got yourself the eraser tool, we want to go ahead and remove this person from here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can do a rough job. Like I said, the AI will do all the work. So you just basically need to tell it what you wanted to remove. So we just want to select this person and make sure that we have everything included. And there we go. We now need to go ahead and type in anything that you want into this box right here. So let's say that we wanted, I don't know, a donkey smiling at the camera. You can just type in donkey, if I can spell it right, <laughs> donkey smiling at the camera. Or we can put directly at the camera. There we go. You can be very specific with this if you want to. And the more specific you are, the better the AI will understand what it is that you are trying to do. You can then click on generate. And the AI will do all the work. This is the part where you sit back, relax, and wait for it to load. And as you can see, there we go. We now have a four or five variety of different pictures to work with. And you could choose whichever one you want. For example, we have a funny one over here. We have one quite derpy looking one and some other ones right here as well. You can have a look at each one by clicking on it and just flicking through each one and seeing which one you like the most. So then once you flick through and you see the one that you like, let's say that we want to use this one, we can click on the save or download button. And there it is. There is the picture that we've been working on. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this AI feature and this website. And as always, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.